Um, my name is Seth Campagna Wheaton. I serve as a national committee woman for NYSYD. Lots of familiar faces, lots of familiar names for people who don't want to show themselves on video. Totally get that. Um, but the next person that we have speaking is definitely not a stranger to NYSYD. He is the biggest Star Wars and Mets fan, or Mets fan around. I don't know which is more important to him, um, but he also serves as the deputy majority leader. He represents the area where he was born and raised, and he has been leading on a ton of progressive issues such as eliminating cash bail and making sure that we have automatic registration of all eligible voters. So I hope you all give a warm NYSYD welcome to Deputy Majority Leader um, Michael Janaris. Okay, uh, what an introduction, Steph. Thank you so much for that. Uh, you laid it out there uh, for me with the Star Wars and the Mets stuff, but it's true. Uh, I do love both of those things, but I also love progressive politics and our Democratic majority. And that's why I wanted to uh, be with you tonight. And I give a huge thank you to the young Dems who have been there with us through the fights. Um, you all are so young, it might've been other young Dems when we started it. Um, and you heard our great leader, uh, Andre Stewart Cousins, who herself has made history as the first female leader uh, of a legislative body in New York State history. Um, so she is someone we are incredibly proud of, but we got this far uh, because of the great work of the Young Democrats and all the forces uh, in our party that worked together to, to make this a reality. It was a tough fight for a number of years. And in 2018, we blew the doors off and got a larger Democratic majority in the Senate than it has existed in over a century in New York. And elections matter. Uh, because once we got that majority, just look at what happened. Our first term, which is still ongoing for another couple of months, but it was the most progressive flurry of activity this state has ever seen. Uh, we passed gender, we passed nation-leading climate change legislation, nation-leading gun safety legislation, the strongest protection for tenants that's ever been, uh, protections for our uh, immigrant friends, uh, reform of the criminal laws uh, uh, in this state. Uh, and we're just getting started. Uh, we were incredibly prescient, as it turns out. We codified Roe versus Wade, one of the first things we did uh, in the majority. And now look what's happening uh, because of the uh, upside down federal government that we have, uh, that is going to be in jeopardy if, uh, if this nominee gets confirmed to the Supreme Court uh, and tilts it further uh, in the right uh, direction of the right. Um, and so we've got our work cut out for us. Uh, obviously, uh, the leaders are uh, organizing work for, uh, for Biden and Harris. I encourage you all to help out with that. Uh, but we have a work uh, here in New York as well. We've got to protect the gains we made in 2018. Uh, we have many incumbents who won uh, hard fought elections last time, who uh, won with just uh, by a percent or two, and they're targeted now by a lot of dark money. Uh, yes, the cosmetics air is unloading on us, but so are some other people. It's millions of dollars uh, being pointed at some of our uh, incumbents who need help. And we're trying to give everyone a uh, company uh, in our conference. We are looking to grow in Western New York. We've got great candidates in Rochester and Buffalo, uh, great candidates in Central New York and Syracuse, great candidates in the Capital Region, the Hudson Valley, the Southern Tier, uh, on Long Island again, and of course in New York City. We are fielding uh, candidates that are quality people who we expect to win in a couple of weeks, but we need your help to do it. And so as you're focusing, understandably and correctly, on the, on the national climate, we got to get rid of Donald Trump at all costs. That's probably the top of the list of important things. Uh, but a supermajority for us in the Senate will allow us to continue to do the great work we're doing, uh, continue to uh, make sure that our policies are enacted into the law, and we can lead the country as, as an example. Uh, of what needs to be done uh, that other people can follow, which is what New York has always done uh, throughout the course of history. And so I too wanna congratulate everyone who's participating tonight. You know, Mondo Jones, I know is coming up soon, future Congressman. Uh, we tried to get him to run for the Senate, uh, but he decided he had bigger plans and we're so happy to see him succeed and, and on his way to Congress. Uh, and of course, one of our stars in the Senate, uh, Zellner Myrie, I know is joining you later. Uh, and uh, we are so proud of him. He's part of that class of 2018 and has made such a huge difference uh, uh, in the state Senate and uh, in our state government. So uh, keep up the work. We'll do our part if you do yours. And together, we'll continue to make New York a beacon of progressivism and, and an example for the country. Thanks so much. And have a